Hey guys, Tyler here. I'm on the beta version of Vampire Survivors and I just casually lost 40% of my HP. Wonderful. I think that these new weapons have an evolution. And the reason why I think that is because I looked at the main screen, there's a collection tab and there's these two new weapons, which you're seeing both of them right now, red and blue guns. And next to them, or rather after them, there's, well, an evolution but it's question marked out. So my theory is this actually, the weapons evolve with each other. Why do I think that? Because they added a feature in a game that actually tells you whether an item you are about to purchase or not purchase them, upgrade in a game, whether or not it actually evolves one of the weapons you have and vice versa, uh, whether a weapon that you have evolves one of your items. And actually I didn't even look at my selections besides the uh, thing I got. And just because it's an upgrade for the new weapon, so hopefully I didn't miss out on anything important. But otherwise, new character, new weapons, I think I have to evolve them. Now, I don't know if they evolve with each other for sure, but the reason why I think they evolve with each other is because it's the beta mode and some things are weird about the implementation of these. I did a run with this character last time where I had a wonderful time exploring the new weapon and new character's attributes, which are... Basically, every one level you get, you get 1% extra damage on everything, and that can stack up to infinity. So I had insane damage on everything, and will have insane damage on everything this run. And well, basically, the idea is that the, the game didn't tell me that any of the items I'd come across would actually evolve these weapons. So I think the weapons evolve each other. And here I'm going to take a reroll. I don't like them right now. I could feel okay going a Tractorb, but I'm not in love. So there was this weird buggy thing where I played with this character and these weapons, but for some reason after completing the run, I had found out that because I'd survived 15 minutes with this character for the first time, I had actually unlocked the same weapons that I used. It's weird that I would unlock something that I already had. So that, that was the confusing part. So maybe the game, because it's in beta, didn't register that I actually had these weapons, so maybe they couldn't evolve yet and maybe they evolve with each other because they just seem like the type of weapons that do, but technically they could evolve with some other item. I just don't know yet. Now I'm on Green Acres Hyper Mode. I have Maximum Curse. I just think this is the most fun map for replayability. It's a new adventure every time. You don't know what enemies you're gonna get at what moments because it's random enemies and they're stronger. So it provides a very nice challenge. I think it's the best map for replayability. And I love that I keep getting gun upgrades. This is nice. Little plasma bullets. I'm definitely going to go for all the damage increasers. That's spinach for one, empty tome for another, and duplicator for three. The three of those stacked together are incredible. Even though I'm already getting a bunch of might with this character's natural ability, I still want to double down on that with spinach. It's another 50% might. It's got to be better than the rest, right? Well, then I also want to go Crown, because Crown gets more XP, and the more XP I get, the more damage I deal. I don't want to go for Curse this time, because I'm scared. Yeah, you heard it right. That's the reason I'm not going Curse. And then my other items are just going to probably level up other weapons, and I'm just going to kind of take them after I've locked in the stuff I like. I'm just going to play it smart here, but I really want to evolve these weapons, since I'm 90% sure they do. Hey, I got Crown. Nice. I am taking some hits, but I'm not too concerned. I might grab a Tiriasu at some point just so I can stop dying to random crap. It might not be a terrible idea just to have a little bit of a buffer, but honestly, one floor chicken, I'm back in this. Just gotta stop running into enemies. But here's the thing. You have to understand that I am on hyper mode. I'm actually gonna take the lightning ring here because I am gonna get duplicator and this evolves with duplicator. I'm on hyper mode, okay? So the controls means that I'm probably going to accidentally run into some enemies. I'm going to overshoot or undershoot. And, and just by the sheer speed of things, it's going to be a little bit off. So I'm not really concerned with the damage I've taken. I consider it to be par for the course. And look at this. I got Duplicator. You can see it evolves the Lightning Ring. So I'll gladly take that. And it's just Duplicator. So... Yeah, last two items I think are going to be Empty Tome and Tirgisu, and then last weapon could just be... Well, it could be Santa Water. I could go for Labora. Just a bunch of high damage dealers. I mean, this is Green Acres Hyper Mode Maximum Curse. Sometimes you got to pull out all the stops, 
and go for mega damage. Now again, I'm rooting for a really high level with this character to get mega damage with. And let's go for the red gun upgrade. Level seven already. Actually doing pretty good. I'm level 20, only at four minutes 30 in. I think this character level is fast. It's got a nice curve. This new weapon is very powerful. No doubt some power creep. I don't think they intend to ever actually balance it because it seems like you're not going to automatically win once you have that. Gee, I wonder why I think such a thing. But it does seem like a strong starting weapon. And if its evolve form is insane, then it might just be one of the best well-rounded weapons. Here I'll go, Pichon. Still go for birds. Let's go for the red gun. Max out level 8. This should get a level. Nope, it doesn't. That's fine. Uh, between these, I'll grab 8 the Sparrow. I think I'm just going to be calling them blue gun and red gun. Their names are too long for me to remember, so they are now dubbed red gun and blue gun. And look at that, blue gun. Even though it is quite powerful, I don't even care about getting Thunderloop until late on anyways. I mostly want to get to these evolved weapons. So, okay, I did get Santa Water. I might need Labora down the line. Plus, it'll be another thing to compare the damage of this evolved weapon to. So I guess I am maxed out on weapons, unless if the two guns to combine to become one. I mean, they are as similar to each other as the birds are to each other. So it would make sense that they combine. So I expect to get one more level, but can't guarantee it. I'm going to go crown right now. There's not that many enemies on screen, but admittedly, I'm not doing the best job of killing them. Maybe I could have considered taking curse. It hasn't been offered to me, though. I still don't think I would take it. Because I probably still want Empty Tome and Tiragasu just for damage and safety in that order. Or maybe I want to wait and see which of these items could level up my weapon. Well, okay, it's neither Stone Mask nor Armor. Those are two of the contenders I had. I'm going to skip here, not banish, just skip. I have a theory that because I haven't actually gotten the evolved weapon yet the game may not tell me what evolves with what. But if that's the case, then why would they have that feature at all? It's, I th was thinking the purpose of telling which items and weapons evolve which, and also a triple chest, love it. I thought the purpose was so that people would no longer have to guess and check for what items evolve to which we weapons, which would be most important for new players to the game. Now that I know pretty much what everything does, I don't really need it. Also, I guess I've decided I'm not going Skull, at least not right now. Yeah, I don't really personally need it anymore, but I thought it was something nice for the new players. Because I remember being new and being like, I hate not knowing which items evolve which weapons. I don't think it's fun to search for it and figure it out. Like, there's some games where solving a puzzle is fun. This isn't even solving a puzzle. It's just literal to guess and check, which, in my opinion, is one of the most boring things you can possibly do in a video game. So I figured they added it so their game could become less boring. But if it so happens that it's a secret, then I don't understand the purpose of it. Maybe it's just to prevent annoyance of like, oh, I forgot which weapon evolved it. Like, I know what kind, you know, I, I've done it before, so I should deserve to know it forever. Which is somewhat valid, but I still think it should be a thing for new players to just know what evolves what. I'm actually going to try not to kill this elite right now, but I'm going to set it up to be killed at the 10 minute mark. I shouldn't have anything else be ready to be evolved. Yeah, I can't kill this bat. Here's the thing. If I kill the bat and it drops a chest before the 10 minute mark, then I, it, I cannot get an evolved weapon from it. But if I kill it after the 10 minute mark and he drops a chest, then it's possible for me to get an evolved weapon. So 10 minute mark, I do have two elites on the screen, but let's focus down the bat. The blue bat since it's been here for longer. It's probably almost dead. These enemies are awfully annoying, but I still got juking powers. There we go. This could drop an evolved weapon. I'm going to escape the circle and go around the long way. Ooh, that was plugged. You hate to see it. Okay, I got to wait for the plants to die off then at this point. I can't quite get to this chest. The circle's too tight. Unless if I decide to just tank a little HP, which I'm not that interested in doing. Okay, I guess they haven't been here for too long. Fine, I'll grab the chest. Okay, no evolved weapons. So, what do? Well, upgrade Pichon. Although, maybe I should have taken the Stone Mask to go off the theory that the game just doesn't tell me what evolves it. 
So that would mean I have to take Stone Mask, means I have to take Armor, means I have to take Tiragasu, but I only have two item slots. Well, Tiragasu can go away, so maybe I should go Tiragasu and something else, and then lose it for the third one, if that's not it. But that means I don't get Empty Tome. I don't know what to do about that. I'll just take Spinach right now. How's my damage doing? I got plus 96% Might. Not even at plus 100%, so not even double damage yet. I could really use an evolved weapon any moment now. Not gonna happen though, I'll just go Santa Water. Hey, I got Empty Tome. Okay, I should lock this in. I guess this means the next thing I will have to get is Tiragasu. Oh god, these slow moving projectiles. Okay, well I got Tiragasu. It doesn't mention anything about evolution. But, the thing is, if it doesn't evolve the weapon, I can merely have it consume. Now, this is kind of funny. Tiragasu doesn't actually go away until I'm completely out of revives, and I just died because it's hard as crap to navigate. But, this, this is the non-Tiragasu revive, so I'm safe for now, but I'm probably going to lose this next revive, unless I can make my way all the way up. Uh, come on, to the chest. Okay, now I burned a Tiragasu. Well, this blows. Well, now I'm just going to take this damn chest. Oh, wait, first <laughs> another Tiragasu, and now a chest. I'm still in this. <laughs> I love how I got through that. All right, I evolved the birds figures. Well, now I've got another weapon slot. But at least I'm not going to die instantly. I just need to make it through this minute. Damn, the dairy plant is absolutely brutal. This is so many slow-moving projectiles. Well, it's not even the projectiles. It's just the sheer number of enemies. Some of them are really fast, too. Well, thankfully, I got rid of the most of them. I damn well need more damage, though. At least Vandalier can maybe come in clutch right now. And here, let's go Santa Water. Santa Water for more damage. More Attract Orb doesn't concern me that much right now. You know what? I will take Red One. Screw it. And I do get Vandalier. I do get Vandalier. Nice. A ton of Vandalier levels. Okay, another chest. Time to possibly level? Oh, yes! The guns! They do require Tiragasu. It's a union. Wait, 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 wait. So... I need both guns and the Tiragasu to evolve this. <laughs> so it's like the birds on steroids. Well, this ought to be good. Let's see it. Oh my god! What in the hell? Okay, well now I can go magic wand, then I can have six evolved weapons at this rate. What the hell is this? The game just went full laser. It went full laser and there's no going back. What the f- are there upgrades of this, like Vandalier? Am I gonna get it? Do I lose the evolved weapon if I lose Tiragasu? I have so many questions. It's technically possible that there still could be upgrades for this, but I think it's unlikely just because I've been offered the same things again and again. I think I'll know for sure after I upgrade a couple more things. Let's go with Santa Water next. This looks sick. How much damage is this dealing? It's just dealing like 30s and 40s really fast, but it's kind of vaporizing everything. So really fast might just be an understatement. I'll take Vandalier. Oh, I should be getting Labora now. Nice. Now I don't have crazy Labora synergy. I have no Bracer. I have no bigger area size, but Labora is still Labora. Oh, so this is interesting. No more Tiragasu. And no upgrades for this weapon. Well, I guess we'll see by the end of the game whether or not this actually um, is powerful. It will have the greatest of weapons to compare it to. But I do think this run's going to be very hard. It's only 14 minutes. We saw what happened last time. Green Acres Hyper Mode with 50% Curse is an insane challenge. Maybe I should get rid of Tiriasu in favor of Bracer. I bet Bracer is insane with this. Yeah, actually, Bracer is the thing to get. You know what? I'm going to actually do it right now. I'm going to burn my Tiragasu and get Bracer. Why am I doing it now? No, don't eat the chicken! Damn it. Why am I doing it now? It's because I still have things to upgrade, so I'll have a couple mulligans. So here I get to use my revive. Now I just got to be careful. Oh, wait, this is funny. I lost the beam? Oh, that's a surprise. I do keep the weapon, but I lose one beam, and I don't know, it's kind of a big difference, but I honestly think if I get Bracer, it'll be an improvement. 
Show me Bracer. Because, yeah, these fast enemies are awfully annoying if I don't have Bracer. Bracer will at least catch them. I mean, if Bracer is good with... Um, oh, I got it. Awesome. I love his new projectile, too. If Bracer is good with the, uh, the Bibles, it's got to be good with this. So let it spin. Now, they seem to be on the trend of adding characters that get 1% of a stat with every level. It would be absolutely hilarious to see a character that gets plus 1% projectile speed with every level. That would be, I mean, you would go for guns, you would go for Bibles, you would go for Labora, you would probably go for birds. And that would just be the ultimate moving projectiles build. That would be legendary, it would be hilarious. I feel like it'd be a perfect addition for this game. It's kind of funny with this, uh, these videos. Every single video just kind of keep coming up with a new character idea. It's fun to theorycraft, what can I say? I like this game a lot. And, and if you like it, you might as well theorycraft about it. Now, you can see the projectiles are moving quite faster, and I should be getting Red Wand Evolve now. Nice. Hellfire. Good old triple chest. And soon the blue wand and then all six evolve weapons. But the fact is, I don't have Tear Gasu, so I am playing at a risk here. I could be absolutely doomed to fast enemies. I don't think I need a chicken, and I was right. Also, you know what I just realized? Because I lost a beam when I lost Tiragasu, what if I gained a beam every time I gained a Tiragasu? So what if I had two stacks of Tiragasu, and then the, I would be shooting nine beams? And what if I still had my regular revive, and then I would have ten beams? But maybe it doesn't count the regular revive. Maybe, maybe the, it's different. But it doesn't tell for birds either. It's just really confusing. Either way... Blue Wand maxed out, six weapons. So the Holy Wand should also prevent fast enemies from coming to me. Yeah, it should provide knockback for some of those fast and annoying enemies. So, question is, will I be able to the, defend myself against the last few minutes of this run? Stay tuned. Hey, it's a golem. How's this fair? These guys are usually pretty annoying. Okay, this is quite terrible for me. It's taking me literally forever to kill it. And I'm not going to get that stro much stronger by minute 29. So if it is dairy plants for the 29th minute, I am going to lose again. And there won't be much more I could have done about it. 25 minute mark. Not much has changed, actually. I've just been running in a circle to try to corral my laboras properly. I think I've been under less of a threat recently than I was against that one golem. Now this elite is goes down way easier, so maybe the leveling up is mattering. I'm at level 121, so that puts me at 195% might, almost at plus 200% again. Can't wait to get three times the weapon power. Who knows, maybe I could out-level the previous run. I believe I got to 142, that sounds right. 27 minutes things are getting a little crazier had the idea to start going in a counterclockwise rotation i don't think it's actually made a difference though i've seen the damage before and seen the damage after it's not like with the bible if i run in a different direction around enemies there's going to be that noticeable of a difference i think it just kind of comes down to am i going to hang out where the birds are shooting like i might even be better like going back and forth the reason I was going in a circle was just so I could guarantee I could pick up all the orbs with um, a tract orb. And actually, I guess I missed a red orb. That's a nice level. Speaking of, I've been leveling pretty decently. I'm going to have a nice burst at the 28 minute mark. Because I'm pretty sure no matter what, I'll be getting red gems. But let me still hunt down this one red gem down here. Maybe there's some stuff. Okay, not too many levels, but just kind of keep hunting down red gems. But I'll have to start being careful come minute 28. I don't have any powerful items nearby me. I have just the power of my own stuff. So here we go. Minute 28. What are we facing? This is, oh, dairy plant stuff. Maybe this is a good sign because if I get dairy plant now, I'm not getting it next minute. I'm going to die. Dairy plant is insane. You know, I might have taken damage for all I know. I'll eat the chicken. Dairy plant is insane. I ate another chicken. How am I still alive? Keep eating chicken. These floor chickens are coming in clutch. I don't know if I was missing HP, but just in case, eat the chicken. Coins don't matter at this point. Just eat the chicken. Just eat the chicken. 
Oh my god, this is a miracle that I'm staying alive right now. Holy crap. Just keep eating the chicken. I think it's Labora that's helping out here. All the th things are congregating and just dealing the perfect amount of damage. 143 levels. Another one. Here we go. Come on, keep finding the holes. Keep finding the gaps. I think Vandalier is just carving out enough of a hole for me to survive in. I still have to get through this minute, though. This is a tough one. I ate chicken. I'm still missing HP. Here we go. This should get me back to full. I cannot believe I found a pocket here. This is nuts. A minute 29 has to be easier than this. It has to. There's no way it's going to be harder. No way. I would be so shocked if it manages to be harder than this. Just please have it don't be the dairy plants. Here's the thing, though. I'm still going to have to deal with all these enemies as minute 29 starts. And if there are some, like, fast-moving enemies to push them in, that burst as the minute changes could be bad. Is the golems? Are you joking? Okay, new plan. Don't kill these enemies so the golems can't reach me. Because at least these these enemies are smaller and weaker and don't maybe get knocked back. Golems don't get knocked back. Dude, I'm getting owned here absolutely own just keep eating chicken what level 159 taking damage still alive somehow oh god the golems are here they're here they're here they're here they're here i'm still finding holes okay that was a legitimate effort to survive i almost beat my level record damn i was getting stronger with time but dairy plant is unfair well moment of truth how does this weapon stack up vandalier beat it it was better than labora though so there's the new weapon showcase. I think I got unlucky getting a bunch of dairy plant stuff. Back to back, minute 29 dairy plants is just unfair. I bet it's beatable without pentagram builds, but I'll have to try something else next time. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the evolved weapon though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day and peace.